Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I hope you're doing great. And in this video today, we are discussing a topic I think many people are interested in because we're talking about rice, which is a staple in so many diets, and even we are consuming it on a regular basis. So today we're talking about arsenic in rice, how we can avoid it, why, rice has so much arsenic in it and actually whether brown rice is a better option for us. Obviously, a heavy metal detox is a great way to reduce metals in our body, but I think you would agree with me that the best strategy here is to avoid getting them in our body to begin with. Well, arsenic is a great example that shows us how heavy metals can enter our body. Arsenic in rice has been a concern since a 2012 consumer report found high levels of this heavy metal in different kinds and brands of rice, including organic rice. But what's really shocking is that this report found that one serving of rice contains a week's worth of arsenic for a child. And this is the topic that I'm going to discuss a little later about like you know, the best first food option for a baby, this rice cereal. But first, let's talk about what arsenic is. There are two types of arsenic. The naturally occurring one, which is we can call it in biological sense organic and inorganic. Well, the organic is also dangerous for our health, we shouldn't be fooled. It is actually a naturally occurring substance that could be found in the Earth's crust and also found in soil and water. So pretty much it is in the environment around us. The inorganic kind is often the kind that present from pollution and manufacturing. So the latter arsenic, the inorganic one, has been found to be carcinogenic and it can also lead to lung, kidney and skin cancer, also skin discoloration, type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Just to mention here, organic kind of arsenic is not considered to be um, carcinogenic, but still it could be toxic in our body. And I would like to explain to you why rice contains so much arsenic. Well, first of all, rice is really particularly great at absorbing arsenic. And as we all know, most likely rice is grown in the flooded areas. Arsenic is water soluble. So it explains a lot here. So rice simply absorbs it. The next reason is that rice is often um, is grown in the areas that were once used for growing cotton. And for growing cotton, the agricultural chemicals containing arsenic were used. And even when rice was first grown in these areas, it didn't survive. But then new varieties were bred to be resistant. These varieties still uptake many times more arsenic than other grains. Also, the land where chicken manure from concentrated animal feeding operation was used as fertilizer and was also contaminated with arsenic. That is because arsenic was often added to conventional chicken feed to make them fat and faster. Well, another way arsenic can get into the environment is by industrial pollution. Some industries, uh, let's say mining, coal, wood preservation and pesticides, they pollute the environment with the inorganic arsenic. Well, the biggest problem with inorganic arsenic is that it could stay in the environment for over 45 years. This probably could lead us to another thought, is that many pesticides that contain arsenic, they are banned, but inorganic arsenic contamination still persists. So now when we know this, I would even call it ugly truth, right? We definitely should know the ways, um, thankfully there are some, that could help us to decrease the amount of arsenic in rice. Well, first of all, I would just say that if you are thinking that uh, brown rice is a healthier option and organic rice is a healthier option, this is not true. First of all, arsenic is stored in the bran of the rice. And as you know, when the rice is polished and becomes white, the bran is removed, which means that a great deal of arsenic is removed as well, which makes brown rice definitely not a better and healthier option. You would say that brown rice contains more nutrients. Well, I would definitely agree with that. But we we'll also need to remember that brown rice contains the anti-nutrient phytic acid, which actually prevents all these nutrients um, to be absorbed in our body. So this also gives us another reason why we shouldn't really heavily rely on the brown rice. And so now once we've chosen the white rice over the brown one, we could have a real tip here and reduce arsenic almost by 80%. We'll need to soak rice preferably overnight. So what you do is, let's say you have half a cup of rice and uh, I would recommend maybe the ratio one to three, put like, you know, a cup and a half water in it. It has to be, you know, it could be clean water. You could even wash the rice uh, before that. In the morning, you would need to discard this water and wash the rice thoroughly. Really you do a great job here. And then the next tip um, following this one would be to cook the rice properly. So never really underestimate that step. And I know a lot of people, they even cook rice the way they cook pasta. So once the rice is cooked, they would just drain the water. 
You can do this if you, let's say, don't want to soak the rice overnight. That would help you to reduce as much as you know, almost 50% of arsenic. Another way to eat rice healthier, Sertor, you need to have really good, reliable and reputable company. This is not advertising here. It, uh, that consumer report also showed that California jasmine and brismati rice contained less arsenic. I mean, we don't have to be fooled. The, it still contained arsenic, but it was, you know, small amount of it. So as far as the company, this is not advertising. This is just I'm sharing with you. And um, Longberg uh, company, uh, they don't even have organic. I don't even have organic. I'm not sure they do have it. It's just non-GMO uh, project verified. And this is the basmati rice. They also carry... Um, all kind of different rice, uh, you know, but uh, jasmine is um, the second option. And this is the California rice. And what I really love about that company is that they do publish the reports. They do test uh, their rice I and mean, how much arsenic it gets. And so again, they publish it, so we are all aware. And this is great. The next tip would be probably obvious is that if you're not a huge fan of soaking, cooking properly, you know, using tons of water, or just you don't really want to think about the brand of rice you are, um, you know, need to buy. But this is not like the most expensive option out there either. You can buy really cheap, if, especially if it's on sale in almost every store, including Walmart. But my point here is that if you're not into this kind of things, um, you would need to reduce the amount of times, let's say you eat rice per week, try to really limit to one or two times. If you are really crazy about rice and you eat it every second day or every day, I would definitely, you know, advise you to uh, follow the tips I've listed earlier. And also pregnant and breastfeeding women should be, like I think, alerted here the most because they don't want to compromise their condition and they don't want to expose, if you're pregnant, of course, or even if you're breastfeeding, your little baby with the arsenic. Also, we need to remember that it's not only about rice we're talking here, but also all the products on the market you can find that are made of rice, which could be, you know, rice cakes, rice meal, brown rice syrup, rice pasta, and even infant rice cereal. That is the one I started talking about in the beginning of the video and just I want to continue. First of all, it's not really anymore considered to be the healthiest and the better option for your baby to start his diet with. Actually, the best method is not even give your baby any parade foods. This is better, you know, to eat them to chew and, you know, in and further choose healthier options of food. But we're not talking about that here. We're just talking that this infant rice cereal, even if it's made for infants and babies, it absolutely doesn't mean it has no arsenic. It does. And the amounts might be really damaging for a small baby. And this type of rice cereal doesn't contain any vital nutrients for your baby. So just swap them out for the veggies. That's a healthier option, I think. The next question I want to discuss here also is that probably you would say that wild rice is considered to be like the top of all the rice. And it's like the healthiest option. Well, first of all, not necessarily it's healthier than white rice and then don't forget it is growing in the soil and it also is contaminated with arsenic. It still takes up a lot of arsenic from the environment. It could be grown in an arsenic polluted area and still have lots of arsenic in it. So you probably wouldn't even know for sure. And here in this case, I guess, again, the best uh, practice would be to choose even the wild rice from the reputable company that has reports, um, you know, so you could look at them and be aware of the amount of the arsenic in it. Just the bottom line, um, this video is that yes, arsenic and rice is a health concern, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stop eating rice altogether. If you follow the tips that I have shared with you in this video and you limit the consumption of rice, obviously, preparing it properly, you can still enjoy it without compromising your health, health of your kids and just health of your family. You can even, of course, enjoy brown rice and the wild rice, but again, in moderation. And I think this information is very important. And if you can, you should share it with your family, of course, family members, with your friends, you know, people who are just eating rice, because I think it is a great step forward uh, for the great input in a good way towards your health. And now, guys, I really hope you liked this video. It was very informative. Uh, we now know lots of things about rice, arsenic, different kinds of rice, and even brands. And now it's up to you um, to decide what you're going to do. And I always, of course, wish you to stay very healthy and happy. I wish you to really enjoy every single day of your life, at least 10 minutes of it, something you can remember. And I also want you guys to stay positive, to be well, and try to believe in yourself, love yourself. Never forget 
to love yourself. This is crucial, really. Do something for yourself every single day. Trust me, you will be a happier person. You would be healthier, which means people around you will be happier too. Thank you so much for your support and attention. It means a lot to me. If you like this video, put the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.